of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. And uh, I'm going to show you something here this evening. Let you hear and see where, where we're at tonight. And uh, I know it'll be a help to you. Make sure this blue mic is on, please. Um, tonight, I will tell you how this came about. I was reading my Bible, and it just grabbed me, as many things in the book of Ecclesiastes do. It's one of my favorite books in the Bible. Amazing book. And we're looking at chapter number 7. Ecclesiastes chapter number 7, and we'll look tonight at verse number 5. This verse is the title of the message. Tonight, I'll be preaching on why church is better than a concert. Listen. Why church is better than a concert. When church is real, there's nothing in this world better. Ain't nothing worse when it ain't. There ain't nothing in the world better than real church. If somebody says, man, I just don't like church, you ain't been to the right church yet. Or else you're just in rebellion and don't want to get right with God. When you're right with God, real church is the best thing there is. Look at chapter 7 and verse 5. Here's, it's better. The words is in this verse. It is better. See there? Bible says it. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. There it is. Right there in the Word of God. Man, people, humans, have a built-in tendency and need and desire to congregate. It's all over the world. People have something built inside them that we naturally want to get together and congregate with each other. If it's not church, it'll be a, it'll be a sporting event. It'll be a club. It'll be a party. It, people like to get together. Some kind of group, some kind of ladies meeting, Amway, ball games, uh, birthday parties, people, we, we were naturally made that way. Now, I believe this. I believe that Woodstock in 1969 was, the, was hell's Pentecost. I, I can't prove that. But I was alive during that time and I remember it well when I was just a kid, and I believe that the unholy ghost ascended, the Holy Ghost comes down, the unholy ghost comes up and down there, and baptized a nation with the unholy spirit, and it took off in the first rock concert officially in Woodstock in 1969. There were others before it. Elvis and Chuck Berry and all the Beatles came and kicked it off like the apostles were there for a few years before the real Holy Ghost came down. The devil's apostles were there for a few years. Anton LaVey started the satanic church in 66. Three years later, same length of time, the ministry of Jesus, three and a half, the satanic Bible comes out and the unholy ghost comes up and starts his revival. Now, I want to give you a little few comparisons tonight and then we're going to uh, look at some things on, on the video. You ready? Um, well, you know, both, both church and concerts are like this. You get all dressed up. I know people do that. People, when they're going to a concert, boy, I'm telling you, I, I've seen them, I've seen, I've heard people, and they go out that week, and they say, I'm going to see my favorite band Saturday night, and I'm going to Charlotte, and we're going to see, there, I reckon that's where they go to concerts, around here, Greenville or somewhere, and, uh, and we're going down there, and we're going to see so and such, and such and so, and I'm going to have my nails done, I'm going to go get my hair done, I'm going to buy me some boots, I'm going to get me a mini skirt, I'm going to get me a, a band shirt, they call it, you know, with the name of your band on it and they, they are, I'm going to get dressed up I want to be people spend hours on their hair on their nails on their jewelry uh, their holy jeans uh H-O-L-E, holy. Uh, uh, jeans uh, to, to look good and to be, they want to impress somebody. You know why they do that? 
They want people at the concert to think they're wicked. Conversely, we are getting ready to go to church. We get all dressed up. That's why I tell people, uh, you, ought to, uh, you know, when I want to go to church, I want to, I don't think you have to dress up like I do, but you ought to wear the best you can and be a, you prepare for it and you, you get ready for it. Amen? They want to look wicked. We want to look right. That's right. Now, not only that, number two, you get involved. You get involved. You don't believe people get involved in a concert? Have you ever seen them on TV? They get just as close. You know what? Like y'all are up here, they get right here. Don't even sit down the whole time. I mean, they get involved. Uh, they, they're standing in line outside the door before they don't come late. You don't find them people coming late. They're there early. They want to get in as quick as they possibly can. They're on, on the way there. They all sing when everybody else sings. They know the words by heart. They don't need books. It shows them sometimes. They're uh, knowing every word. Their heart is in it. Number three, you raise your hand. You know that? Have you ever seen a concert? They're all doing this. You know, we'll, we'll say about that in a minute. That's three fingers down to deny the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and two up to represent Satan's horns. That's what that means. And they're all doing this and they're all doing that. Same way in church. If you go to a church where nobody ever raises their hands, you go to a weird church. They did it in the Bible. They did it in the Old Testament. They did it in the New Testament. They raised their hands and all through the Bible. They do it at ball games. They do it at game shows. They do it when they on American Idol. And we ought to do it in the house of God and throw up a holy hand once in a while and praise God. Amen. Number four, you feel a spirit. You feel a spirit. I felt it when I was 14. I played in a rock band when I was 12, 13, 14, until I started playing basketball. And the, and the Lord, I reckon, I, basketball kept me out of playing music and I quit the band. And I remember when I was 14, we was at a, what we, they didn't call them concerts back then. They called them Battle of the Bands. And I was standing behind the stage like this, and this band was on stage, and they were playing, and it was getting louder and faster and louder and faster. And I felt something pull on me. Felt it. And it said in my head, why don't you just give in? Why don't you just give yourself over? And I was about 14, and I just went, whoa. And I forgot all about that until after I got saved. And I started preaching this stuff, and I thought, my, my. Wonder what spirit that was that I felt that night. It wasn't God. That's the same spirit of the Holy Ghost opposite that you feel tugging on your heart when you go to the house of God. You feel the spirit. As a matter of fact, they say in magazines, Rock and roll has the power to create emo strong emotional experiences. Parents, listen to this. The power to literally take control of an individual and carry him into a spiritual realm. Quote, Bob Marley's concerts were like a crusade, a mission, like church. Powerful, spiritual, a power that pulled you there. Quote, Michael Jackson, when I'm on stage dancing, I felt touched by something else being in that crowd that day. Powerful sermons and services. Let me give you some more quotes. A famous rock historian said this, music is a magical Operation. It is a vehicle to communicate with the gods. Little G. Talking about demonic spirits. Craig Trujillo of Jefferson Airplane. Quote, rock concerts are the churches of today. Music puts them on a spiritual plane. Music is God. Quote, Jimi Hendrix. Quote, we're making music into electric church. Music is a new kind of Bible that you carry in your hearts. Quote from Paul Stanley, the guitarist of Kiss. Quote, he said he's a holy roller preacher on stage. He said I'm up testifying and getting everybody riled up for the power of almighty rock and roll. The Grateful Dead, they said there every place we played was church. 
the Backstreet Boys even. They said their concerts were worship. You feel a spirit. There's no doubt about it. Number five, you hear doctrine preached. You hear doctrine preached. When we come to church, we don't just have a good time. We preach Bible doctrine. We preach the Bible and you learn something. And no marvel, Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. No wonder his ministers, Satan's ministers, are transformed into ministers of light, angels of light, and they preach. We preach, they preach. We preach, Jesus is the answer. He's the only way to heaven. They preach, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. We preach doctrine. They preach doctrine. One fan said this, quote, after a concert, I felt like God was speaking to me. Eminem, as you'll see in just a minute, literally preaches to his congregation when they're there, just like church. Not only that, number six, you pay some money. You pay money, you go to a concert. Did you know for a good seat at a Taylor Swift concert is $279. 200 for a decent seat, $279. People pay $100 to get in a ball game, 250 to go to a concert, and when we come to church, we pass the offering plate, and they fuss and say, all these people want your money. You don't have to give nothing here. If you want to, fine. If you don't, God will take care of it in some other way. And they worry about us wanting money. Them's the biggest money-grabbing hypocrites in the world. Say amen right there. You know how much it is for a VIP seat at Beyonce's concert, where she comes right down the aisle? $2,000. $1,995. Listen, people. I wouldn't give $2,000 to see Michael Jackson rise from the dead and moonwalk on his hands from here to San Francisco. Would you? Lord have mercy. Beyonce is just a sinner just like the rest of us. Her armpits stink. Her breath stinks in the morning. She gets a fever blister and pukes in the commode just like you do. See how people say That's right. You pay some money. Number seven, you leave changed. You leave changed. Real church will change you. My life took a different direction because of one service I went to when I was 18 years old. And concerts do the very same thing. One Holy Ghost filled revival meeting changes people forever. One demon-infested rock concert will mess up your life for the rest of your life. Amen? One great tent meeting gathers all the dedicated Christians from the area to have a great revival, and a rock concert is the dedicated devil worshipers all getting together to have their church to get you dedicated to the devil. That's right. I heard of a lady down in Charlotte, or, or let her kid go to Charlotte. She said, I had a good, a good uh, daughter. She said, my daughter was a good girl. She said, my daughter cleaned her room. She said, my daughter basically did everything I told her to. She said, I let her go to a concert in Charlotte, and when that girl was, came back, she was different, and I couldn't do nothing with her after that. Changed her life. She picked up something down there and brought it home with her. That's right. So tonight, I will begin to show you the video portion of this message and illustrate everything that I've said so far. You listen carefully. You watch carefully. Go ahead back there, please. Get me the lights and make sure I got volume. I want to show you some things here this evening. Look here tonight as we bring you this portion of this message. I hope God will use it to speak to your heart as he did mine when I was preparing. We'll start tonight with Reverend Kanye West 
Telling you his people have their own things that they're into. People have their own religion. Hip hop is a religion to a certain extent, and the rap is all the preachers, and the music is the is the scriptures. You know, it's just like church because you go to a concert, you 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 raise your hands in the air, you get dressed up, you sing songs, and you definitely pay some money. It's just like church. church. Ain't that something? He just now said it. He just now said everything I got through saying. Listen, here he says that he's one of the most important people there is nowadays and if they wrote the Bible now that he would be in it and everybody has their own Bibles now. I'm the new Kurt Cobain. You know, they feel like, yo, you know, he's, he's got a God complex because he said if they wrote the Bible again, he would be in it. Duh, yeah, I would be in it. I feel like I'm one of the more important people, you know, in pop culture right now. One of the only people with an opinion. The Bible had, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 characters in it. You the Bible has 20, 30, 40, 50 characters in it. <laughs> the Bible has tens of thousands of people in it. If you're that dumb, just be quiet about the Bible. He said, I believe I'd be in it. I doubt that. Now, well, he might be. The maniac of Gadara, maybe. The guy who had the demons or anything got cast in the hall, he might be that. But he ain't gonna be in no Bible. I think I would be one of the characters of today's modern Bible, and people have their own forms of Bibles now. You know, it's a new day and age. People have their own thinking. People have their own things that they're in. That's true. To a certain extent. And the rappers are the preachers. And the music is the, is the scriptures. Hear that? Here's Jay-Z says, Hail Mary, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. Ain't that something? The making of the song, Lucifer. Jay-Z and Kanye West. I'm telling you, they're preaching. They're preaching their God. I'm preaching our God. You gotta decide which one you'll choose, teenagers. Which one you'll have. This is holy war. And when I perish, the meek shall inherit the earth. When I perish, the meek shall inherit the earth. Now you're gonna watch him as he says, I don't know how I learned that. I've never read the Bible in my life. I don't know where I get that junk. That's my word. I never read the Bible in my life. I don't even. Know. I don't even know why. Why I know that junk. Isn't it funny that all of them quote scriptures, and it's like the spirits are messing with them. You know who buys the Bible better than any one of us here tonight? The devil does, and his spirit does. Watch it tonight. Look at that. I break bread with a late head. Here he goes now. Dear God, the Illuminati want my mind. Dear God, I wonder can you save me? The Beatles started this way back yonder with that sign right there. See that sign like that right there? Three fingers down and the, the, the uh, sign like this. That right there, the 666. I don't stand for three-pointer. That's three sixes over the one eye. This is a verse in the Bible about a prophecy of the Antichrist. Judas Iscariot, in the context, by the way, and it says his right eye will be darkened and his right eye, arm dried up. That means the Antichrist, well, he'll be left-handed, strong left hand, and a strong left eye, just like the $6 million man they had on TV back in the 80s or whenever that was. He had a super strong left arm and a super strong left eye. His wound will be healed and, you know, all that's about the resurrection and all that stuff. But I want to show you that uh, to keep watching for this one eye, left hand, dark right eye, 666 six, six sign. Keep watching for it tonight. He said, I sold my soul to the devil. It was a crappy deal. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Yes, sir, it sure was. And here, Katy Perry being interviewed. See the upside down cross earring? It's not a nice lady. The cross being upside down is blasphemy against the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch her as she said, I wanted to be like Amy Grant and it didn't work out, so I sold my soul to the devil.
wrestling ministers and so I kind of sang about where I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music yeah <laughs> but it didn't work out and so I sold my soul to the devil here it is again but it didn't work out and so I sold my soul to the devil yes sir she sure did wow. that is Lady Doo Doo and she sold hers too see the dark right eye see the 666 hand now where do they get that they don't even know that's in the Bible. They have no idea. My Lord. Watch it tonight, young people. They don't even know. They don't even know. Even cartoons. James and the giant peach. Watch it symbolize over and over in cartoons. See that? And there's where it stops. With a little kid being marked, that's on everything in your house right now. Everything you've got, dog food, toothpaste, notebook paper, tennis shoes, that's on everything you've got right now that you buy at the store. Look at this. Mark of the beast. I'm not selling myself to God. You think they ain't having church? They sure are, buddy. They're having church. Look at this. Marilyn Manson at his concert dresses up like a preacher. Notice the satanic S on the pulpit. Jesus said, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. That's where Kiss, that satanic S, watch him as he sings his song, Antichrist, and the words are, prick your finger, it is done. The moon has eclipsed the sun. The angel spread his wing. The time has come to repent. Get ready for the Antichrist. Look what he does with the Bible. Should come as men authority become Look at that. For the... Look at that. Notice the demon shooting an arrow like it's Jesus. No right eye. And he's shooting it with his left hand. They don't know that's in the Bible. They don't even know it. That's the Lord Jesus Christ that died for you. Kids, that's the one you're going to school to represent tomorrow. What an honor you have to stand up and be a man for Jesus Christ. Be a soldier for the glory of God. I dare you to. Look at this. Spirit of Antichrist. Look at these words. The Bible is a lie. After mocking Look at that, whole. over and over. Serpent Jesus, snake of Christ, with a goat crucified on the cross, no right eye. And they don't even know them people I showed you a minute ago. You better quit playing around, buddy. If you're here tonight and you're not saved, I'd run to God fast as I could go. You don't know how long you've got. You may not have another five minutes. You watch this tonight. Serpent Jesus, snake of Christ, with a prostitute on him, going to build you a world of lies. A goat. There's what they wear to their concerts. They wear that to church. Are you ashamed to wear a Jesus Save shirt to school? We got them like that. Big black shirts with white letters. Jesus Saves on the back. They're not ashamed of it. Death. To Jesus. That's their church. Look at this tonight. Watch it tonight, young people. Jim Morrison, way back yonder, he said, People want to pray. You want to petition the Lord with prayer? Listen here what he says. Let's do his voice change like he's demon possessed. You cannot petition the Lord with prayer. My Lord. And then he sings. And calling on the gods. Calling on the gods. That's right.
on the God. Look at that tonight, young people. Look at that. Look at that. There's the satanic horn sign. It's all over the entertainment industry. It's everywhere you look. It's three fingers down. It's the Illuminati sign of the, of the pyramid. Over and over and over you see it. When you get to a certain level in entertainment, they offer you so much money, you sell out and give them your soul. We are all witnesses. Look at this commercial. He made a big mistake when he let them call him King James. That is not funny. That is not a joke. God don't take that lightly. Look at this. The Beatles started way back yonder. Look at this ritual. Satanic ritual. What in the world is that supposed to mean? Listen to this song. We want your soul. We want your soul. That's right. That's exactly right. That's what they're interested in. That's what we're interested in. You know what we're after here tonight? Your soul. You know what they're after? Your soul. You got to make up your mind which. Look at that tonight. Watch it tonight, kids. Slayer, the rock group Slayer. See the pentagram there? That five pointed star, that's where Stevie Nicks stands. In the center of that, to conjure up. Their power comes up, ours comes down. I'm praying, God send the fire down. God send the power down. They're over there saying, Come up, Lord Satan. Come up, Lord Satan. You see that Slayer? That stands for Satan laughs as you eternally rot. I'd show you on the album. That's what it stands for. Now, don't be a fool. Don't think you're too smart and too cool. You can sneak around and listen to it and it don't bother you and nobody knows it. And you got it all hid. Everybody at church thinks you're right, but you got this secret life. Yeah, it's going to catch up with you too. You better do like Brother Mike said. You better even do learn how to do right even when you're asleep at night. Look at this. They sold their souls for rock and roll. Eminem said, he, they said he's our Christ. We party in his name. You want to hear him preach? He said, these people are devil worshipers who say I'm right next to Satan in their thoughts. Here's what he preaches He's going to preach to you right now. Listen to this. Here we go. That's good preaching, ain't it? To win souls for the devil. And parents wonder, where does my kid get this stuff? Listen, even if they don't understand the word he says, that spirit in that music is saying the same thing to them. You can feel it. You can feel it. He said, kill people. Drop out of school. Is it any wonder why we got the problem we got? Marilyn Manson said, as a teenager, I was very interested in selling my soul. The Bible. Look at that. See the congregation? Lord have mercy. Not an empty seat in the house. Not a dead, not a person asleep out there grabbing the Bible and ripping it up. Now I'm going to tell you tonight, them's fighting words, partner. Amen. That book right there is the book that got us through. That book right there is what we're saved by. The grace of God. That book right there tells us about heaven and tells us about Jesus. It goes with us to the hospital, to the graveyard. It goes with us in all of our problems, the divorce courts, everywhere we have to go. And we don't appreciate some reprobate ripping the pages of our book. Listen, if you support something like that, you're on the devil's side. He said, I think it's cool. I think you're a fool. What the Bible said, you better to hear the rebuke of the wise than the song of fools. That's a song of a fool right there. By the way, this ain't what I'm preaching on, but let me throw this in right here. Take the Koran 
and make a concert and rip it up and watch what happens. You'd be on every news channel in the country. They'd be on you. You'd be charged with a hate crime. You know what that tells me? That tells me we got the right book. We got the right spirit. We got the right God. We're hooked up with the right one. That's why the world hates it. That's why the world hates it. You'll never hear them, hear them say nothing about the Koran. The devil knows which one's right. Look at him doing like he's going to throw up. At the Bible. There's something wrong with a church kid that says, Man, I like it. I think it's cool. The Bible says you're a fool. Don't tell nobody how dumb you really are. What do you think about him? Look at this. Ozzy said Satan's sitting there smiling. Look at this song. I wish to sell my soul to be reborn. Don't wish for earthly riches. Don't want no crown of thorns. Look at that. Watch this. Now burn in hell. That's right. That's church. There's what Kurt Cobain said. Kurt go bang. That's what he said before he died. He said, I'll get stoned and worship Satan. Whose church you go to? Ain't that something? All this power I'll give to you. That rap song says, or hip hop, if you'll fall down and worship me. Who wants to pray to the now look here, this is at the MTV Video Awards. He just now said, who wants to pray to the devil with me? And watch them laugh as they lead them in prayer to the devil. With me. Who's in with me? Come on, hey, let me see those horns. Let me see those horns. Metto, metto. Look them crazy people. Metto. Church. Satan. Hope everything's good with you. Praying to the devil. And they said this. It was a den of thieves. Jesus said, my house should be called the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. Where'd they get that? Where'd they get that tonight, young people? The rebuke of the wise is, heaven is prepared, hell is prepared. The song of fools is, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, only earth and sky. The song of fools is, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord shall give me at that day. The song of fools is, no stop sign, no speed limit. I'm on the highway to hell. The rebuke of the wise is, for I know in whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him. The song of fools is, dear God, I wonder can you save me. The rebuke of the wise is, Jesus keep me near the cross. The song of fools is, country music, I feel a sin coming on. Jesus don't hold me back. The rebuke of the wise is, none other name under heaven whereby you can be saved. The song of fools is, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. The rebuke of the wise is, keep yourself pure till you get married. The song of fools is, act on every animalistic instinct that ever comes into your heart and mind and do what thou wilt. You see, it's better to hear the rebuke of the wise. You see, God calls preachers, the devil calls artists. Ha ha, that's what they call themselves. God gives power. So Satan gives power. The Holy Ghost comes down. The unholy ghost comes up. We, uh, we the, uh, the Spirit of God works through the songs and the preaching, so the unholy ghost works through their songs and through their preaching. God has a time and a place to meet with his people. They have a time and a place to meet with their people. 
God is after the souls of men. They are after the souls of men. The end result of church is heaven. The end result of that is hell. That's why I say church is better. Listen tonight. I want to show you something here. Watch carefully. I sold my soul to the devil. And the price was cheap. I sold my soul to the devil. And the price was cheap. Yes, it sure was, buddy. Yes, it sure was. Madonna stands on stage and her thousands of fans know every word. She said, I'm going to beat my drum, I'm going to ring my bell, and I don't give a blank if I go to hell. Yeah, listen to this. This is an unholy ghost outpouring fanatical revival of hell that you're getting ready to see. And the name of this song is 666 Voices in My Head. Um, 666 Voices Inside. You think they ain't having church? Sure are. That ain't cool, man. Look at this. Look at this atmosphere. Honest to goodness, I hate to say this, but this looks that's looked like you try to make some of them churches on TV. It looks the same, sounds listen. Church ain't supposed to look like that. Church ain't supposed to sound like that. Listen to this. Long for this E because He's going to sing a song called Teach Children to Worship Satan. It's titled Teach Children to Worship Satan. Can't stand much of that. I turn it off. Death to Jesus. Death to Jesus. Kill the Christian. Kill the Christian. Things about. He said, and I think it's about time to ask our father Satan to open the gates and come on up. I'm, we ask our father Satan to open it. That's church, people. Unholy church. Satan's church. The devil's a preacher. The spirit of the devil is drawing people to him. And those kids go back changed forever. And many sell their soul and say, all right, Lord, Satan, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Open the gates. But look how wrong they are. It's not that way, kids. They don't realize the devil don't play fair. When they get to hell, they'll scream. When they get to hell, they'll burn. When they get to hell, they don't realize how bad it really going to be when the flames come around their body. Hell ain't a bad place to be. They're lying. That's a lie, people. That's a lie. It is a bad place to be. It's a terrible place to be. You don't want to go there. It's an awful place to be. There's a young man screaming. He's been tricked by the devil. He's been tricked by Satan. Look at that girl. That breaks my heart every time I see her picture because she looks like she don't even know where she's at. And the devil tricked them. And oh, come on, man. Hell ain't a bad place to be. It ain't so bad. Come on, man. Let's live it up. He's preaching to them. Are you listening to me tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing the devil's church. Look at this. Glenn Benton said this. He sees himself as a satanic evangelist whose goal is to reach others. I collect souls. That's what I do. If I can collect one soul, if I can convert one person to accept an evil as their life, he said, I'll consider my work done. He just comes out and admits it. I'm a soul winner for Satan. Are you going to be a soul winner for Jesus? Will you 
you be a soul winner for the Lord Jesus Christ? Will you? Will you, will you stand the test? Will you stand up and say, I'll be counted? Listen, it may cost you something, but it'll be worth it. As a matter of fact, it will cost you something, but it'll be worth it. Thank God. Nobody's ever took a stand for God that it didn't cost them something. I'm going to show you tonight. Look at this. Watch this tonight. He said this. Satan gets you. That's ACDC. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Yeah, they're coming. But look where you wind up. Look where you wind up. Look where you wind up. He's a liar. That's the difference between him and Jesus. Jesus don't lie. He's a liar. There's one. Look at that concert. That's like a whole concert right there. Dropped in the hellfire. Satan said this. Could you stand the torture? Could you stand the pain? Could you put your faith in Jesus when you're burning in a flame? Listen. Huh? How about it tonight? Could you? Could you? You'll go to the lake of fire forever. You'll burn forever. You'll never get out. You're, listen, it'll be nobody's fault but yours. You can't blame your mom and daddy. You can't blame nobody else. It's your fault. 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 Now look at the difference in this spirit. This one had their pastor over here, one of the greatest preachers in the country, preaching. Now you're going to see the difference between that and church. Look at this. Many of you were there that night. Listen to this. And he said, God brought me out of a horrible pit. Yeah. Put my feet on a solid wall. Yes, sir. Put a new song in my mouth. Even praise is under our God. I'm going to tell you something tonight. Brother, feel that different spirit. You better believe I'm going to jump. You better believe I'm going to shout. You better believe I'm going to turn around. The greatest day of my life was the day I got you see that? You see the difference? That's church. That's real church. There's nothing in the world like real church. I'll never forget the night I got saved by the grace of God when I was 18 years old over there at Nebo Baptist Church. It changed me. I got off the rock and roll trail. I laid it down. I said, glory to God, I done found a better way. I found something better. The world ain't got nothing to offer you like the Lord does. That's the real deal there, buddy. That's the real deal. Look at this tonight. See the difference in this and what you saw a moment ago. Look at this. Come on, keep coming. Come on. Hallelujah. That's what you want to do tonight. There ain't nothing in the world like church. There ain't nothing in the world like this and the power of God and the Holy Ghost and getting right with God. Nothing in the world like it. Nothing in the world like it. Woo! Hallelujah. You know what they're doing? Getting ready to go to heaven. This right here ain't going to happen at no concert. This right here ain't going to happen at no concert. Here's what's going to happen to the church of God, brother. I want you to know, church, that Jesus Christ could come this month, or he might come next week, or he could even come... Woo! Glory to God, brother. There's where the church of God's headed one of these days. There's where, brother, we'll be out of here. Glory to God, we'll be out of here. I'm glad to say hallelujah tonight. Thank God there is a better way, brother. There's a better way. I'm glad tonight when I got saved, I got in on something big. I got in on something big. I got in on the tail end of when the Lord's going to take us all to heaven one of these days. We'll shout the victory. Lord of God, we'll shout forever and ever and ever about the things of God. You see the difference? You see the difference? That's why church is better. But look at here tonight, young people. Watch it tonight. You just don't know. You really don't know. That could happen tonight. Are you right? Are you ready? Some people say, I like what old Sammy Allen said. He said, some people say this has got to happen. 
That's got to happen before Jesus can come. He said, you know what's got to happen before Jesus can come? Nothing. Nothing. Are you ready? You see, you may never go to school tomorrow. I'll take heaven, won't you? Lord help me, man. If I'm saved and ready to go to heaven, Lord, that beats school any day of the week. It beats ball games any day of the week. It beats the job any day of the week. Hey, man, that's where we're going, y'all, if you're ready. Here's where the world's going. Hell, 90 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour, hell fire. Dropping into the lake of fire. Screaming in hell and never having a change. Remember, you better remember that. God, son. There's where we're going. See the difference? You see the difference? We're rounding up people getting ready to go to heaven. They're rounding up people getting ready to go to hell. Listen to it tonight. All our burdens are over. All our battles are over. All our heartaches are over. All our tears are gone. No more hospital beds. Lord to God, no more funeral homes. No more bad days. No more crying and sorrow. No more business down there to have to lay a loved one in the grave somewhere. No more crying over our lost loved ones. No more crying over kids that are on drugs that are in trouble. We'll just shout praise God forever and ever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Listen tonight. How about you? Are you ready to meet the Lord? I think I'll take five minutes and do something that I I really hadn't planned, but I got it on here. And I want you to watch this. About four minutes. Every school girl in here that's saved, this could be you. This is a story of little Rachel Scott, probably that life story, it's not real characters, of what happened at Columbine High School. And I want you to watch this for a minute. This could be your school tomorrow. Watch it. Here goes. She passed him in the hall. She passed him in the school each day and tried to think of the right thing to say. The other kids just seemed to treat him bad. So she turned around that very day to tell him that Christ is the way, but the things of God just seemed to He said, just get away from me, there is no God, why can't you see? And if there was, he'd never love someone like me. She said, it's not too late to trust in Christ, for your sins he paid the price, you'll know. Turned around and walked away. A choice was made that very day to end their lives. He swore and he'd make them pay. They made his life unbearable. Then he saw her in the hall at school. He thought that she was such a fool. The hatred. Right and made him mad. She reminded him of what he didn't have. So he took a gun and put it to her head. She said, It's not too late to change your mind. Just trust in God, true peace you'll find. You'll know a love you've never felt before. But 
the hatred in his heart was strong. He sent her straight into the arms of God, and he took his life when he realized what he'd done. That's what's wrong with our schools tonight. No God, in many cases. No witness. Nobody taking a stand. Somebody needs to take a stand. In Catawba County. In Burke County. In McDowell County. Over in Knoxville. Yeah, Over in Kingsport. It's happening too often. Can you see the perpetrators? Can you see the guys? Boys and girls go to school. why mommies and daddy need to pray a wall of prayer around your kids. A hedge around them. A hedge around them. Kids tonight don't even realize something like that I hope and pray to God never happens at your school. God forbid! But if it did, would you be the light? Would you be the one witnessing? Would you be the one preaching to them? Would you be the one saying, if I got to go, I'll die and go home to be with the Lord? He said he had hate towards God. It's not too late for you. It's not too late for you. It's not too late for you, Mama. It's not too late for you, Daddy. not too late for you it's not too late for y'all you can go to school and take a stand you can go to school and take a stand kids you can go to school and stand for Jesus Christ and I advise you to do it now while you got a chance this is your chance tonight get your heart right with God I've prayed for this for weeks and weeks and weeks. Maybe the Lord might come before tomorrow morning before it's time to even go to school. I wonder how many teenagers and young people here tonight say, you know what? It's time for me to quit messing around. I'm going to be a soldier. I ain't going to be no wimp. I'll stand for Jesus Christ. If you're here tonight and you'll make that stand, let's do it tonight. Amen. Come on. Come on, let's just get this all in pray tonight. Give me just one little bitty light back there on the far right. Just a little bit. Come on, young people. Come on, mamas and daddies. Let's pray. Far right. Far right. Well, young man. Hey, this one, hey, it's fine. Fine. Hey. Amen. Come on, mamas and daddies. Get up here and pray. Come on. Come on. Come on, teenager. Let's go. Let's obey God here tonight. Turn that one off, please. Amen. You let God speak your heart. Amen. Amen. You come on right now. Come on. Let's obey God. Come on. If you don't ride with God, come on. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Any little old sissy clear from the devil. Come on. How about some mamas? How about some parents here tonight? Get in this altar and say, God, I'm going to do right. I'm going to serve you, Lord. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to do the right thing. Amen. Be a blessing and a witness to these young people. Maybe there's some here tonight that needs to get saved. Come on. Let's all stand. Everybody stand and don't be a wimp. Come on. Get right with God here tonight. Come on. Amen. Some coming over here. Some else coming over here. Come on, let's get an altar here tonight. Let's obey God. Church is way better. There ain't nothing in this world like real church. There ain't nothing in the world like real church. How about it, Mama? How about it, Daddy? You come on here tonight. Get down here and get your life right with God. Make an influence on your child. 
Make an influence on your child for the glory of God tonight. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Come on. That's right. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. There ain't nothing in this world like real church. The devil don't have nothing to offer like what God has. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Come on tonight. Come on, young people. Heather's coming. More coming. More coming here tonight. Come on. Come on. Just get out of your seat. Come on. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray with these kids here tonight. Maybe somebody here tonight needs to get saved. You call on the Lord right now. If you're not saved, call on him right now. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm sorry for my sins. Jesus, I know you died for my sins. Right now, I take you. I take you. Call on him. Trust him. Trust him right now. You get saved by trusting Jesus Christ to pay for your sins. Trust him tonight, kids. Trust him tonight. He'll take you to heaven when you leave this world. Amen. That's right, girls. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Isn't that a wonderful sight here? Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. Come on tonight. Come on. Come on tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo!
Hello there, sister. Amen. Glory to God. I'm still praying here tonight. You know what? You ought to thank God Almighty that you've got parents that'll take you to church. Or somebody, a bus worker. Listen, that's why we have the bus ministry, y'all. Boys and girls like this. Young people everywhere that need God, that need Jesus. You don't think the devil's sending his soul winners out every weekend? He sure is. The drug dealers are out. The movies are out. The music is out. God needs some soul winners that'll take it out of the church wall and get it out there to somebody else. We're going to do that Saturday morning, 9.30, Lord willing. Do it between now and then. Go to school. Tell somebody. Tell somebody else about the Lord. Be a witness. Tell somebody about God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm still praying tonight. We're going to do something else. Don't leave. Do not leave. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll never forget the night I got saved. Listen, y'all. Make up your mind you're going to live right. Make up your mind tonight you're going to live right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. See, it ain't cool to sin. It ain't cool to cuss. It ain't cool to listen to bad music. It ain't cool. You've been a fool. That's a song of fools. The song of fools. It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise than the song of fools. You're better off to go to church on Sunday and let some preacher just bless you out than to hear the song of fools and make you think you're all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. This boy got saved by the grace of God. Amen, Casey. Amen. That's one of that's one of our motorcycle boys there, Brother Casey Cochran. Amen. Want to give his life to the Lord tonight. Isn't that something? Amen. Y'all might have seen him in that race there when, on, the t- on the TV when Dax raced. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Give me some more light back there, Ron. I know y'all, we're going to do something else right quick. Don't leave. Don't leave. I want everybody, everybody who's going to school tomorrow, little ones right here and everybody else behind them, come up here. We're going to pray for you. Come up here. Come up here. We're going to pray for you. Every one of you. All the lights now. Everybody's going to school tomorrow. The little one's up front. Big one's in the back. Little ones up front, big ones in the back. The rest of y'all can be seated for a moment. Amen. Everybody's going to school tomorrow. Everybody going to school tomorrow. Let's go. Come on. Get up here. Y'all get $100 each. Maybe. Maybe not. Amen. Let's go. Want them all up here. Scoot over this way some, y'all. Everybody scoot that way. We're a little crowded over here on this side. Everybody come this way. All right, I need some, I need some counters here. Uh, Brandon, you and Aunt. Get them up here and count it. Or Derek, you do this half, starting right here with this little fellow right here. Go that way, and y'all go that way. Okay, count right quick while I'm talking. That's a mob of kids going to school. If there's somebody shorter than you behind you, grab them and push them out in front of you. Grab them and push them out in front of you so we can see them. We can't see them little ones. Amen. We had another one get saved. How many of y'all just got saved tonight? You just got saved tonight. Would you raise your hand, please? You just got saved tonight. There's one, two, three, four, three or four here tonight. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. Everybody else got right? Hallelujah. Amen. All right. How many have we got? And what? Amen. Shout it, son. Eighty-three. 48 and 35, 83. Somebody tell me. You got you add on your feet. Try it sometime. Uh, something like that. We're close. Over to 80. 80. 80 kids here on a regular Sunday night before school starts. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, y'all. Amen. All right. Now listen, you little brats. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I really want to do. <laughs> Here's, you want me to show you what I really want to do? Is the camera off? 
Take my belt off. Everybody bend over, bless God. <laughs> if you can't preach the devil out of you, beat it out of it. Don't put that on YouTube, please. What I done said is going to get me enough trouble. All right. Now listen, you little darlings. <laughs> We're all going to get up in the morning when Mother says get up. We're just going to jump up and have a smile on our face and say, this is the day the Lord has made. Right? We will rejoice and be glad in it. Don't go, ugh. Right? Is that what you're going to do? You don't lie. You're in church. All right. We're going to jump up tomorrow. Come on, Big T. You'll be going to school pretty soon. All right. You got to get up here, big boy. Y'all don't know this boy right here, do you? He, he's, he's the one in the special uh, special bus ministry there. What, JJ, right? That's JJ. Where's his brother at? There he is. There he is. And boy, he's going to be a blessing, ain't you, JJ? Give me five. Amen. Y'all ought to go down and see him sometime. Go with Anthony this Saturday and go down to his, his little trailer they live in down there. It's a blessing. Oh, you don't live there no more? Oh, you live with somebody else? Oh, okay. You have to keep, it's hard to keep up with them, so they move. They'll, they'll move. We don't see them for a while, and they come in on somebody else's bus. <laughs> Moved on the other side of town. But anyway, we, I know we got to go. It's getting late. Let's see. We'll take about five minutes here. We're going to pray with you. And I want you to know we're going to be praying for you all tomorrow. I served my time got out. And uh, I'm a free man tonight. Your punishment for being young is you got to go to school. Your punishment for being old, you have to work. So I'd rather work. Uh, but anyway, uh, I remember I used to sit in school and I'd watch the clock and I thought I was going to die before it got time to go out. But I wasn't saved. If you're saved, you do right. You serve God. You honor that teacher. You obey what they tell you and be the very best student you can be in every subject. Amen? That's what a Christian ought to do. All right? Right, for the Lord. We got, all right, y'all can take pictures here and put them on the nose book. Everybody, y'all that's doing that. Huh? If, if, if I don't know. Where are we? Oh, y'all got a song? Oh, I know what we can sing. Let's sing 18 verses of Father Abraham. Ready? <laughs> Or we can do the laughing song. The joy of the Lord. Ha, 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 ha. We can do that. Uh, the laughing song. Who's our lifer? We had a real good lifer here the other day at Bible school. I can't, it was Donna. Where'd she go? There she is. You better watch out, Miss Donna. Stand up back there and say something right quick. And we're going to pray. Shh. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen, sister. We love you too. Bless your heart. That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Miss Donna. Appreciate you. All right. I feel sorry for whoever gets that one in the first grade. <laughs> All right. We're going to pray, and then don't leave. Uh, I need your help, Jeremy. Where you at? Uh, you guys here in just a minute? All right, let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, I pray in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost of God, that you would touch every one of these boys and girls. Please, as they go back to school, give them the power and the, the guts and the backbone and the faith to stand for you, Lord. Bless them, give them strength and wisdom to do right. 
And we'll thank you for it. Bless everybody. Get them safe home tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stay right there. Stay right there. We have a surprise for you. You're going to need some help here. We have, born in the Carolinas, Pepsi. All right. We also have...